almost fist-sized specimen of cobalton calcite perched on a matrix of a pretty solid dolomite. Now what's interesting to uh, uh, of, of the uh, uh, cobalton calcites from the Tenke Fungarumu mine where this one hails from is that the dolomite almost has fractures from the forming process and and in these fractures there's a there's a filling uh, of these cobalton dolomites uh, a gem pink dollar uh, uh, calcite crystals sitting on this matrix then we have a mild dusting of carcicola as you see here the white to pale blue material the black material over there would be on under magnification you'll find it's tiny tiny um, botroids of uh, waxy black heterogenite and then of course uh, we'd have initially a layer of uh, cobalt and calcite dusted with carcicola Typically, uh, uh, almost a powdery carcicola, and then typically on that you'd have the heterogenite. In this case, it seems to have come out as a coating of sorts. Now, from a display point of view, if you have it lying flat on a turntable, you'd have this effect. Of course, these little botroids projecting off the main ore. Lovely little total pink contrast there. And looking from the top down, we have this effect. So quite a, quite an exquisite little guy. Um, fist size, definitely a little bit bigger than palm size. All the way from the uh, Tenke Fungarumu uh, mine uh, in the Katanga Copper Crescent. When you zoom into the still pictures, you'll actually see the minor quartz crystallization. Some smaller, some bigger. Mostly a little bit bigger than Druzy quartz maybe.